in a lot of effort, hard work, and passion and dedication. And it also needs a charismatic personality who would gather, you know, like-minded people and guide them towards achieving the goal or achieving or uh, materializing the idea. Uh, two years back, this convention was merely an idea. And one person spearheaded, you know, the materialization of this uh, idea into a reality. So I'm not, uh, I'm talking none other than Sri Chandrasekhar Basurida. Sri Basuri, whom we, uh, Basurida, whom we call Basuri by lovingly, is working as the VP in JP Morgan. And he's also active member of the Satsang world in Hyderabad. So I request him to start the discourses with his opening speech. Sri Chandrasekhar Basuri. Good evening to all of you. I hope you are enjoying the ambience here. It is our privilege to have Mr. Jatindranath Mohanty with us, who has come all the way from Delhi. He is the organizing vice chairman of the Satsang, as well as the secretary of the Satsang Bihar New Delhi. We also have Mr. Surya Prakash Mahapatra, who has come from Bangalore, and he is the global head of the talent transformation at Wipro BPS. We have Mr. Asok Girwani, who is a Hyderabadi. He is in charge of the Satsang Bihar Hyderabad, which is in Rajendra Nagar. Let me uh, set the context of this event. It is organized by a group of working professionals living in the high-tech city area. They all share the same aspiration as anybody else in the society. They all aspire to lead a happy life, balanced life, progressive life, and a prosperous life. This is the second edition of the event. Why are we organizing this? This is simply out of our love for Sri Siddhartha Van Kulchan. He has enriched our life in so many ways. He has contributed to our life in so many ways. We believe our life would never have been same without him. When Ram Krishna Paramahansa expired, Vivekananda was about 23 years old. And not many people knew about Ram Krishna Paramahansa. So Vivekananda, along with a dozen young guys like him, thought that if they don't take his message to people, nobody will know that such a wonderful personality had been born in this world. They started touring the length and breadth of this country, begging from door to door to propagate his life and message. We are not Vivekananda, but we thought Sisi Thakur on Kulchandra is such an interesting and wonderful personality, yet hardly anybody knows him in this high-tech city area. It is a modest attempt to introduce Sisi Thakur on Kulchandra to the professionals of this city. Well, you will hear more from our guest speakers about the subject of this evening and various aspects of Sri Thakur's life and philosophy. Let me tell you a few words about Sri Thakur that makes him so interesting. In primary school, everyone, including great Einstein, had been taught that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. two. But perhaps he is the only one who did not agree with this, you know, when he was taught. He did not agree with his teacher because he strongly believed in the uniqueness of every individual. So he thought if everything in this world is unique, when you add 1 plus 1, it is supposed to be 2, 1. It, it should not be 2. And he did not change this thought process throughout his life. So he could see the distinctiveness. He could see the uniqueness in every individual and he knew how to nurture that uniqueness to make a person the best he or she can be. For you to appreciate it better, let me give you an example. Uh, you may have heard about uh, Jack Ma. 
he is the founder of alibaba and he was also the richest billionaire in china as well as in asia and he applied in harvard university and he was rejected not once or twice 10 times by harvard why perhaps harvard did not see the potential in him though he is such a successful entrepreneur but when i look at sis thakur from his very childhood he could see the potential in everyone and he knew exactly how to nurture that individual and you know make him the best he or she can be so there are thousands of stories of transformation but let me say only one uh, there used to be a guy called suresh who was a hawker in a bus stand and sis thakur saw him and asked him hey what are you doing here now come with me and he ended up becoming pandit suresh chandra dev sharma and before he expired he authored a few books so there are many such stories you know i would like to uh, stop here and let's hear from our guests about the topic of the evening uh, that is the golden key to lead a balanced progressive happy and a meaningful life thank you